What is life like for those in the NFL? Off the field, away from the locker room. Is it notoriety and front rows and celebrities? So many celebrities. Is it award shows and the shoes and the hats? So many hats. For some, yes, but for many, that's a rare taste. During the season, there are 2,144 players at any given time in the NFL, and that's not even including injured guys. So what is life like for the majority of those players? Only really like the top 1% of NFL players like have the luxury of like living this luxury lifestyle. Like everyone else is just doing what they can to get by. It's house hunts for a home base. It's so like, nice. Yeah. yeah. And always being prepared for a quick move. Never thought I'd be living in Wisconsin. It's long days in the regular season. That roll into spring. It's early mornings, late nights, and a gnawing need to work twice as hard, knowing it might garner only half the respect. It's searching for a brotherhood in a family amongst otherwise strangers, knowing that that will push you farther than any individual goal. The culture that the Green Bay Packers have elevates everybody in the terms of the standard is so high, and you know that you can't walk in that building any day and have a bad day. Like you know that the standard's here, and if you don't live up to that, you're not gonna last very long here. This is life for most in the NFL. This is Life on the Edge. It's 5.30 a.m. in Atlanta. Tyler Davis and his fiance Sydney are heading to the gym, as they are every morning at this time. It's mid-March in the offseason, the time when NFL players are on their own. And while professional motivation pushes most to keep up workouts and training, this is also largely seen as downtime. But for those on the fringe, it's an opportunity to claw, looking for any traction on a roster that is often defined by turnover. That's the mantra by which Tyler Davis lives. Giving everything you got, showing up as early as you can, just like I did, uh, putting in the time on your own. The coaches only spend so much time with you, so what do you do in the time after that, it's all on you. You know what I mean? Be able to learn the stuff, learn the material, catch up to the standard, you know what I mean? Because when you first come in, it's hard. You're swimming, you know what I mean? You're, uh, you're, you're sinking. You're trying to swim and you're sinking. And uh, you just gotta do everything to stay afloat. And then uh, it's all those after hour work that you put in to, to reach those guys. A New York native and former quarterback, Davis has spent the past few years learning the nuances of the tight end position. He arrived in Green Bay Raw after one year with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And within the walls of Lambeau, he found a culture that would reward his tenaciousness. You don't want to let the guy to your left or to your right down. I think that's the biggest thing that is special about the Green Bay Packers. And so every day he and Sydney wait before dawn. She drives him to his workouts, then runs errands or goes to work while he does the same. With so many willing to take his place, snatch his dream away for theirs, this schedule is year round to maintain a foothold on an NFL roster. It's a crazy day, I will say, and you know, I would do anything for Tyler and I love him to death, so it's really, right now we're living the dream because I can see how happy he is and like honestly seeing him on the field and how much he loves it, if you just watch him he's having the time of his life so it makes it worth it, but it's a lot of work and I don't think people realize it's like the unglamorous side of it. During the offseason, Sydney whittles out time to help Tyler with his training. A former collegiate athlete herself, she's happy to step in and provide anything to give him an edge. It mirrors the balance both say saves them in one of the more unpredictable careers out there. If the NFL has like, told me anything, it's like nothing's like set in stone or forever. So you kind of have to be like ready to up and move and just kind of roll with the punches. No one gets it unless you're in it and you won't, won't be able to get through it without someone that's willing to support you and you're willing to support them. This is the third move the two have made in less than a year. Jacksonville, a short stint in Indianapolis, and then Green Bay. With the uncertainty of the NFL hanging over their heads, they elected this offseason to find a home base, one that was established with family in mind, not football. Do a little reading uh, for the day on a Sunday. 
And while in Atlanta, surrounded by other athletes and world-class trainers taking advantage of the Southern climate, Tyler trains and trains and trains. People are gonna hold you to a high standard the whole time that you're wearing that uniform. All of us constantly check in on each other. Like we all know that we're all working and it shows once you get back. After arriving back in Green Bay, Davis does just that using Robert Tunyon's injury-driven sidelining as an opening. By the time mandatory minicamp rolls around, Davis, fourth on the depth chart last season, is taking first team reps with Aaron Rodgers. Do you feel like your role changed after Bobby got hurt? I'd probably say so. Whether I was ready or not, they needed somebody to go in there mm -hmm. and, and perform. Uh, I think the thing that happened when he got hurt is we kind of tried to split up his role. You know, he's a great player, we all know that. It's going to be impossible to be able to duplicate somebody like that. Just try and take a little bit and piece and put me here, take a little bit and piece, put Josiah here, take a bit of piece of Bobby and put Daphne there. You know what I mean? Just kind of work it down the line like that. So I feel like, um, especially in this offense too, great for tight ends. And the more comfortable Tyler Davis becomes as a tight end, the more valuable he is to this offense. Uh, we look for a bounce back here from Bobby, you know, when he's healthy. Uh, Tyler Davis is, you know, I think set for uh, him and Deguara, set to really make a push for uh, some reps at tight end as well. In an effort not to drown under all work and no play, Tyler, like his teammates, forced themselves to carve out time for fun. Whether it's a night at a golf simulator or planning their upcoming wedding, time away from the field is necessary for some semblance of balance but it's scheduled meticulously and with an end time in mind because the morning will be here soon and with it, the time to get back to work.